United States Capitol, Washington, D.C. Hello, everyone. R.J. Peckham, alongside my podcast colleague, Mark Adams. And tonight, Mark, this is the one pay-per-view in the entire year of the TWA where titles don't matter. It is one tournament to decide who will be king of the two. Yep, winner is king and receives a $500,000 bonus. Alright, let's get started with the action. And as you can see here, folks, this is the qualifiers bracket. Each one of these competitors will square off in individual matches, and the winner of each of these matches goes on to the quarterfinal round. Oh, and by the way, I have a little letter to YouTube about making us go back to 15 minutes. I'll just quickly read it. <clears throat> Fuck you. Thank you for that, Mark. In the meantime, we're going to get started with our first qualifier in the King of the Tube, Conan the Barbarian taking on Scorpion. And Conan has been struggling to get back on his feet ever since he lost that TWA championship over a month ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Sumer, Mesopotamia, weighing in at 261 pounds, Conan the Barbarian. He finished first, and in the rules of this tournament, the first guy faces the guy who finished last. And the guy who finished last is, of course, Scorpion. And his opponent, from the nether realm, weighing in at 219 pounds, Scorpion! I'm betting that Conan will beat him in under two minutes. Conan the Barbarian can use this tournament to get back on his feet. Maybe add the title King Conan to his repertoire. His list of nicknames, if you will. Also, very interesting to note, Conan and Scorpion were two of the participants in the Elimination Chamber match. So they're a little acquainted with each other here. This is going to be a very interesting contest, Mark, because you're pitting raw power and brute strength against aerial tactics and technique. Scorpion so far has got the early lead on the former TWA champion. Now, what the? What is Scorpion going to do here? Oh! Unbelievable maneuver! He just stomped on Conan's chest while he hung upside down in the Tree of Woe! That is a reason why Scorpion is one of the most deadly competitors in the Television Wrestling Association. But Conan, you can never count him out. Conan may not have the catch-as-catch-can skills of a scorpion. 
but his raw power alone was what made him TWA champion for a whole eight months. And Scorpion with an unbelievable German suplex. I don't know how he took all of Conan's muscle just like that. Conan, he's got Scorpion in a daze. Oh! Scorpion, he always knows where he is in that ring. Oh! Conan comes right back with a hard punch. And a DDT plants Scorpion right into the canvas. If I were Conan the Barbarian, I would watch out for the legs. Scorpion knows many maneuvers. Like what you just saw there with the Tree of Woe. Scorpion, he's got the arm, but Conan reverses. Even though a lot of people would say that the longer this match goes, the more it favors Scorpion, you can't count out Conan's stamina. I mean, he pushed an entire wheel for like 20 years or so of his life. If he can shove that wheel for that long, Who's to say he can't last a Broadway match with Scorpion? Conan tries to apply the camel clutch, but Scorpion gets out of it. Well, I don't know if you checked the Vegas betting pools, but Conan is way up at the top as one of the guys everyone's predicting to win. Indeed he is. Another favorite would have to be the Terminator as he was the very first winner of the King of the Tube two years ago. There's also Hulk, Chuck Norris, Iron Man, all those guys are near the top as well. Scorpion, he just planted Conan's head with a DDT, unbelievable. Scorpion, he's getting ready to go for the pin, one, two, no. You're not going to beat Conan the Barbarian that way. Scorpion wants to neutralize Conan the Barbarian. He's going to have to go for the arms. That's as well as the spine. Ooh. The inverted Frankensteiner. I think that just dropped Conan right on his neck. And one, two, oh. Conan, only he has the strength kick out of a move such as that. But you have to wonder if that inverted Frankensteiner took a toll on Conan's spine, his neck in particular. Conan tries to go for the camel clutch, but Scorpion is too close to the ropes. And the tech guys always have to remind us that he grabbed the ropes by putting those big rope break letters on the screen. Scorpion goes for the pin again. One. To me, that was a very weak cover. Conan using his arms and whatever he can. To probably smash Scorpion into unconsciousness. And, oh, ram Scorpion's shoulder right in the turnbuckle post with sheer force. But, oh, wait a minute. Scorpion with those martial arts kicks. Every time he uses those kicks, it means trouble. There's the drop kicks. And, oh, swinging neck breaker once again on that already fragile neck. And one, two, oh. Close call. Very close call. If this keeps up. My payday is going to pay off and Conan will beat him. Now Scorpion, he's just waiting for Conan to get up. And... 
Oh, spear! And don't tell me. One, two, three! That's gonna be an upset! Scorpion got defeated! Come in the barbarian! I don't believe this. One of the highest odds on favorites to win, and he loses in the first round. This has got to be a major boost to the career of Scorpion. He's going to await either the Incredible Hulk or his former tag team partner, Sub-Zero, in the next round. And also, because of YouTube's fuck-up, we gotta take a break right now. <laughs>